Let me start out by saying that I'm not obsessed with Sonic, and I've never been like a high-key Sonic fan, just so I get that out of the way. So, you wanted a video intro. I'm choosing to take this as a lesson of I need to learn to not take so long with editing. The director, Jeff Fowler, did release that they are moving the release date to February 14th of 2020. I decided to still put out this video. I still stand by a lot of what I said in this, and honestly, I don't think an extra two, three months is enough time to fix this film. And I still think they're gonna be overworking their people. So there's that, enjoy. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment. I'm sure, like me and most of the rest of the internet, you saw the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. The main discourse surrounding Sonic is that no one likes how it looks, essentially. It's not the only complaints about the trailer, but it's the main one. People think that Sonic looks ridiculous, myself included. I think he looks like an eight-year-old child in a Care Bear onesie who has the hands of like the live action version of Cat in the Hat but with the teeth of like a small toddler. It's fairly unsettling and I'm annoyed that his first line in the trailer is gotta go fast. I don't care if it's a catchphrase. The setup was stupid. Anyway, a lot of people were complaining about the design and they've been complaining for a while. Back in December of 2018, they released the first official poster for this movie and it was just a silhouette of Sonic. The main complaint there was that his legs looked eerily muscular. Muscular in that way like someone that runs a lot, like you see that, but also it's not something that you associate with Sonic the Hedgehog is like beefy legs because he's a hedgehog and a video game character. He doesn't exist. He looked similar but also off. His legs were weirdly muscular. His shoes were wrong. Sonic's got pretty identifiable shoes. I'm not even a big Sonic fan and even that when I first saw it I was like that's not correct. When you were taking a character from a video game or a cartoon show or whatever and you're trying to adapt it into a live action film and make this character CGI, it's to be believed that you're going to make changes but there are certain elements of characters that are very important to have for certain characters. Now, I'm not a big Sonic person, but the reaction that I saw is comparable to like, if I saw them trying to make the live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies, and they tried to make the turtles bandana striped. That's the only thing that I can compare like my reaction would have been to like how people reacted to the shoes thing. There's certain things you don't change because they're not real. Essentially, the consensus for this poster was the shoes are wrong and the legs weird me out. Once that poster was released, I think within the next week or two, if not the next couple couple of days, a poster was leaked that was probably a mock-up at some point, and it shows Sonic leaning in a car and then some dude who looks very much like Chris Pratt is in the front seat and it says Fast Friends. And people were like, this design looks terrifying, but still not as bad as it could have been. Another poster got leaked of Sonic kind of relaxing on the top of the Golden Gate Bridge and he's got the, the trail from his streaks or whatever the fuck you call them. And he's got his like legs in like a weird position and he's like lounging back and the tagline just says like a whole new speed of hero, which I thought was funny. This got the meme treatment by the way, because it looks like a thirst trap photo. You're lounged back, you're trying to just barely get your balls in the shot. Anyway, and then it kind of quieted down, and then not long after they released the official poster, Sonic's all lit up, he's on the run, he's in a cityscape, he's running up a skyscraper. He looks different than the original designs, and even the silhouette, his legs don't look nearly as muscular as they did in the silhouette photo, but he doesn't look good. More people complained about the designs as they have been the entire time, and now with the trailer, people have been complaining about the design this whole time. And and I'm not just talking about fans of Sonic, uh, people like myself, just people who aren't even really fans of the Hedgehog or the games are like, this doesn't look right, this looks incorrect, this looks wrong. Sonic looks unsettling. And the thing is, is people who worked on the Sonic games, or uh, for all I know, hell, the production team, complained about these designs. The people who keep defending the designs are the director and the producers. The producers, in particular, seem to say like, oh, we took a more realistic design design, it just doesn't look right in the real world. Is my mic on? Yes. I want to tell you something from the bottom of my heart. Um, those of you that are producers and the director of this film, y'all f***ed up because you misunderstood something that's very important for these types of movies. You misunderstood the power of nostalgia and fandom. No one cares that Sonic the Hedgehog, his original design, would fit in the real world. No one gives a sh
Look at Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu took a risk, but they did it very well. They took the Pokemon and did very little changes to their physical design. They tweaked elements of the design to fit into the real world. You got rid of complete aspects of this character because you didn't think it fit in the real world. No one gives a shit if a super speedy hedgehog fits in the real world. What they care about is seeing their childhood portrayed on the big screen. No one cares that his eyes look comically large. No one cares that he wears the same shoes. No one cares that despite his speed, his thighs are the actual width of a Kit Kat. Original design of Sonic is what people wanted to see tweaked for the real world, if at all. You can take a CGI slash animated character and make it fit for the real world without changing complete aspects of the character. I, I know I'm going all over the f***ing place. No one cares that his eyes being comically large wouldn't make sense in the real world. Neither does a blue f***ing hedgehog that collects rings. I personally didn't like the trailer because one, Sonic looks, again, terrifying. His body looks too human in that he looks like an eight-year-old. It doesn't look right. It almost looks like his fur is a suit. My friends who are fans of Sonic, they didn't like the design and they thought it was stupid, but they were expecting that. They were mad that Dr. Robotnik wasn't an actual circle. If anything, I'm hoping that Jim Carrey saves this movie, but I don't have that much hope because it looks like he's just playing Ace Ventura. Within 24 hours of the trailer dropping, it had 12 million views, 175,000 likes, and 268,000 dislikes. The director, Jeff Fowler, tweeted this out. Thank you for the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. Hashtag Sonic movie. Hashtag gotta fix fast. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was fun because holy sh** complaining on the internet actually accomplished something. But then I thought about it for a second longer and I realized how bad this is because if you notice in that tweet, nowhere does it say they are moving the release date. The release date is November 8th. That's in like six months. They want to change the design of this character in this feature length movie in the span of six months. Now, I see why that's bad. Apparently some people on Twitter didn't. Now, keep in mind, I'm not an artist. I write shit. I don't draw shit. Frankly, I'm bad at it. I saw someone say, you just have to change the master design and then it fixes everything. No, this is a CGI character in a live action movie. It's not just changing the base layer because animation and CGI and everything that goes into it, there's so many different elements of that. Light sources, hair moving, the trailer gives the vibe that Sonic's hair is magic and they're going to take advantage of that and Robotnik's gonna use it to harness powers or something. His hair is going to be a big deal in this. They have to make sure that that fur, his hair, his fur, whatever the f*** you want to call it, doesn't look stupid. It doesn't look comically fake. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of manpower. That's a lot of hours. That's too much to pull off in six months, which is not enough time. The only way I can see them pulling this off is if they are overworking their artists, if they are making them work seven days a week. The director and the producers are not the ones putting in the manpower, is what I'm trying to say. These people are not unionized. This is bad. The only way I can see them pulling this off without managing to kill one of their artists or multiple of their artists from overworking them to the point of exhaustion is if this movie did what a lot of other movies do where they're dealing with something from a cartoon or a video game or anything and they make the title character, in this case Sonic, the side character in their own movies. They did this with Transformers. They did this with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's often not well received but that's really the only way I can see them pulling this off. Oh god, this is so bad. I know I'm rambling, but I'm worked up over the fact that don't people don't seem to be getting how bad this is for the people that work on this film. Because at the end of the day, if they pull this shit off, if the movie comes out on November 8th and it looks great and Sonic looks great and it's actually like decently well received, the director and the producers are gonna get all the credit, but also it's going to set a precedent. Future films in this industry, in this genre of CGI and animation, where directors think that they can overwork their artists and expect a quicker turnaround time and expect movies made in a faster time. It's not good. Very bad. I saw a theory on Twitter that maybe they've had a redesigned Sonic this whole time and that we're seeing the fake version of Sonic and they did a whole fake trailer just to add to the hype when they do release it and they're like, oh, look at our new Sonic. We, we listen Listen to the fans. We, we, we understand you're not happy and this was all just a big old marketing ploy. First off, I 
fucking hope you're right. Then that means the artists aren't being taken advantage of. Frankly, I don't think they're that smart. I don't. I think they didn't listen to anyone on the production team. I don't think they listened to any of the artists or anyone complaining throughout this entire time of the leaks and the posters and everything. And they were just like, we're gonna make a good movie. It's fine. Who cares what they say? And the trailer came out and people continually complained, not just about the Sonic designs, but how Robotnik is in a circle and the story doesn't look great. I'm wondering if maybe they were like, they don't like any aspect of this movie. Maybe they thought that the storyline would make up for the fact that people didn't like the Sonic design, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Are they worried they made a movie and so they're just trying to get something out of it. I don't know. I wanted to make this video because people didn't seem to get like just how serious this is for the people working on this film. I don't think they're gonna pull this off. I, I'm personally thinking that they're going to move the premiere date. I just don't think this is gonna go well. <laughs> There's no like point to this video really. I just wanted to talk about my feelings about the trailer a little bit and that we should worry for the artists working on this film. Is there an address we can send them pizza and water and make sure they're going to the bathroom? Like, is there a way we can do that? Paramount, Sega, is there a way you could give me the address of the cage you're keeping your artists in so I can send them pizza and water? So yeah, that's it. I just want to talk about my feelings about it. In the comment section down below, tell me, did you see the Sonic trailer? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you like how Sonic looked? Did you not like how Sonic looked? Did you like how Robotnik was in a circle? Did you like Jim Carrey in this? Do you think James Marsden deserves a better career? What do you think of Paramount and Sega? Do you like Sonic? Did you play the game? Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Follow me on all my social medias. I'll put that all up here. Shout out to my patrons for supporting me on my Patreon, Sarah, Byron, and Aaron. Shout out to the artists who have to work on this goddamn movie. I probably won't do an update on this topic until the movie actually comes out. That's it. Peace out. Rock on. Sleep tight. Can we send someone over to the studio and have them do a wellness check? I'm like actually worried.